Hello, this is Angus Watkins and I'll just be running you through all the different features I've put in my final composition. Um, I've used two different versions of After Effects to make this piece, um, CC and CS6. Uh, CC has Cineware in it, so I've used that to preview my 3D images while CS6 has all my trap code programming that I've used for particle effects. Um, I've done everything, I've pre-comped every single scene uh, just to make it easier to understand where everything is. Uh, the first scene, or the first scene that uses effects is this one here, it's a panning shot. I'll just go through all the different effects inside this came here first of all I've got a black matte here to remove the background um, I gotta find this is black solid sorry it's been rotoscoped uh, I think it's here we are black solid 13 I used a combination of motion tracking and just uh, hand rotoscoping to make it a quicker job. It's quite hard actually just doing a, a um, panning screen by hand. I uh, see that can be turned on and off and I've also got a black layer on the leaf to give a bit of shadow there. Um, so I've got three different layers, three different black layers inside this program. I've used more than one because this one over here has got a different view angle and I found that as it panned across this side went way more out, well around all the objects anyway. Um, yeah, so that's how I did that. Um, I've also got trap code tops. These are all my trap code. This is from Red Giant. These effects. You can turn this on and off. Just using particle effects, you can do a lot of things with this program. Um, here's all the sizes, and this is all the stuff that you change. Sphere, and then you put on motion blur and depth of field so it sits into the scene better yep uh, so that's scene well that's the first scene inside the warehouse second scene it's similar done very similar I guess but this time I've used string effects using trap code and find trap code here trap code form and particular. Actually I've used a bit of particular in this um, raining down from the side here. I've also created a floor plane so it picks up those objects. It's very subtle but it kind of gives it a little bit more movement in the scene. Actually it's very subtle, you can barely see it. Um, also for shots like this I've rotoscoped out areas such as this one here so that all the particles can go behind it. Uh, I've done that in almost all of my shots. I think this next one here I rotoscoped around the person. But when it loads, I'll, while waiting for that to load I'll show you this is what I used for Cinema 4D. This is my um, little set. And I used a pre-made engine and kind of you know, deleted some parts off it to make it look kind of like a speaker slash box. Um, I've also used a white plane that picks up the shadows. Uh, you can see a ring out view of this. There we go. That of course will all be removed once I've um, you know, put the object buffer in and such. I also don't use a Cineware. I, f I actually finally um, render everything out as PNGs and then throw them into After Effects and then that allows me to put grain and stuff on to match the camera. You can't do that with Cineware because it doesn't actually fall because there's so many layers it doesn't fall on the right thing. Um, yeah, so it takes a while for that to render out. What else have I got here? Yeah, Cineware is useful for I guess previewing but it takes too long to render so that's why I render everything out differently. I think the final shot, it's not finished yet of course, but the final shot is right here and that's where that object is going to fall and that's where he's going to touch it. 
Yep, and that's, I guess, how I put this whole thing together. These are some shots without all the effects on. That's um, image 768. You can see all the different effects. Actually, I'll just run through these adjustment layers I put on. That. This is using Magic Bullets looks, which I've kind of slightly modified. It kind of gives a, um, I guess it's kind of color grading, but to the extreme, so it's very stylized. Um, I just modified them a bit. I got this one too. Kind of creates a fisheye lens thing. It kind of works well with the music. Kind of gives that kind of weird sort of you know, vibe. Of course, here's the door, which I'm not very happy with, but it kind of looks all right. It sits in well. Um, if I had more effects, I could uh, probably hide all the, uh, you know, the kind of weird edges. But you know, yeah. So that's how I made my thing. Thanks.